Good morning, good morning. Keisha Johnson here. Welcome to Waking Early for His Glory. You can find me here every Monday through Friday at 4.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much for catching the replay. If you can be so kind and type in hashtag replay in the comments. And if you are tuning in for the very first time, welcome. Please put a number one in the comments so we can welcome you. Good morning to those of you that are just tuning in. Great morning, Karen Lewis. Good morning, Joan Lewis. Y'all are usually always the first two on good morning ladies my sisters good morning as you all are jumping on you know what to do please go ahead and begin to share out the broadcast and I'll go ahead and get logged in and do the same as well good morning Debbie good morning Letitia good morning good morning good morning good morning everyone good morning Good morning. You all know what to do. Come on in and say, God did it again. God did it again. We were on the wake up list on today, and that's not a small thing. Um, as many of you all know, it's a great day to be alive. Amen. Good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, Ricky. Isn't it? Uh, are you an hour behind me or an hour ahead of me, Ricky? What time is it your time? Good morning, Annie. Good morning, Jennifer Jones. Good morning, everyone. So go ahead. Let's go ahead and begin to share the broadcast out. And as you all are coming on, you know what to do. Please share. What time did you go to bed last night? What time did you wake up this morning? I went to bed somewhere in the 11 o'clock hour. Um, I hit the snooze button twice this morning. But I got up. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Ruby. Good morning, Brenda. Good to see you. Good morning, everyone. As you all are jumping on, please let's go ahead and begin to share. And I'll go ahead and begin to share as well now that I am logged in. Uh, we are all called to evangelize and spread the word of God. And that's what you all are doing when you share this broadcast. So after you have shared, come back and type in shared. All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So good to see everyone. Yes, everyone in their respectable places, places, amen. Yes, it's a great day to be alive, amen, amen. All right, so um, Melissa, wow, you took a little nap just like I did. All right, you all. So if you are on this broadcast live right now, if you are catching the replay, that's not a small thing. That means that you were on the wake up list. Good morning, Tanya Lockhart. You were one hour behind. Okay, that's what I thought. The same with you, Letitia. I know you were traveling. I think Ricky is one hour behind as well. I think it's 3.30 um, her time. So it's a, um, we were on the wake up list and that's not a small thing. Um, so we're gonna take a moment and begin to thank the Father before we jump in. And I want you all to share what time did you all go to bed last night? What time did you wake up this morning? And if you have not already, remember to grab your anointing oil. Look at these oily hands. And let's go ahead and say my hands are blessed. Go ahead and type that in the comments. I think, Berita, you're ahead of us. My hands are blessed. Everything that I touch is blessed. Everything that I touch prospers. Everything that I touch multiplies. Everything that I touch turns to gold. These blessed hands will lay hands on the sick. They will be healed and they will recover in Jesus name. Amen. That's right. Y'all type in my hands are blessed. My hands are blessed. My hands are blessed every day as I go throughout my day. Every day, everything that I touch, I remind myself that everything that I touch prospers. Everything that I touch multiplies. Everything that I touch turns to gold and I believe that with everything in me. Um, so we just have to continue to speak that and confess that every day. Amen. So um, let's just take a moment to type in the comments, God, I appreciate you. We're going to let him know on this morning um, that we appreciate him. Amen. We're going to let him know on this morning that we appreciate him. We're not going to ask for anything. We're just going to say thank you and let him know that we appreciate him for being God. And we appreciate him for all that he's done, even if he doesn't do another thing. Right. So, Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. Father, we bless you. Father, we thank you for being good. We thank you for being good in every way there is to be good we don't want to ask for anything this morning we just want to come and say thank you we just want to say thank you y'all go ahead and type that in god i thank you we thank you for being our protector we thank you for protecting us through the night from things that we have no idea that you have protected us from teresa says father thank you for another blessed day amen 
um, Barita says, Heavenly Father, thank you for using, oh, Keisha, to bring your word on today. Amen. I'm so thankful and so grateful and honored to be used by him. And so we thank you for being our healer. We thank you for being our deliverer. We thank you for being our provider. We thank you, for God, for waking us up this morning with a sound mind. We thank you for a sound mind on today. We thank you. We thank you for peace. Amen. My hands are blessed. God, I appreciate you. So you all continue to type in the comments what you're thankful for. There's just so much to be thankful for. I often like to ask, what if you woke up today with only what you thanked God for yesterday? What would you have? What would you have? So for those of you that are just jumping on, good morning. It is so good to see you all. Please take a moment to share the video. After you have shared, come back and type in shared. And why do I ask you all to do that? Because as you all come back and type in shared, that encourages others um, to share as well. And we definitely want others to know what we are doing here. This is great accountability to wake up in the morning. Um, that's actually how we got started here. Just looking for accountability. Good morning, Carmen. So good to see you. So um, if someone can type in Isaiah 54, 17 for me, Isaiah 54, 17, we're going to get started with our opening verse. And then we will jump right into our... Um, into our prophetic word for today and then I'll share what it is I have to share all right so Isaiah 54 17 Isaiah 54 17 and it says no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned one of my favorite verses I'm constantly having to remind, remind myself and a remind the enemy um, the word of God you know sometimes we're surprised we're surprised you know we're surprised when the weapons are formed we're surprised the word doesn't say the weapons will not form it says they will form but they will not prosper the weapons will form the enemy will do everything that he can to form the weapons but they will not prosper I need y'all to type that in the comments but it will not prosper it will not prosper so again 50 Four seventeen. no weapon y'all say no weapon no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned so our prophetic word for today that's right hashtag none our prophetic word for today it's coming from the Father's Heart Ministry, and they can be found right here on Facebook. Thank you so much for sharing, Icy. Thank you, everyone, for sharing. All right, the Father says today, I am your helper. When those who should come to your aid look the other way, I am rushing to your side to save and deliver you just in the nick of time. When others oppress you and rise up against you without just cause, I will come to your defense. The Lord is saying, I will come to your defense. I will come to your defense. Aren't you thankful that we serve a God who will come to our defense? He is our great defender. A lot of us are doing things trying to defend ourselves. And some of us just need to step back and let God be God and let him do what he does best. Defend us. I will give you favor with those that you need to have favor with. And I will bless all of those who stand by you in the battle. I, listen, not only will you be blessed and not only will you be favored, but God will honor and bless and favor those who stand next to you in the battle. I hate enmity, says the father, and I despise the oppressor who lays awake at night only to, to only to devise some new assault against my people. The weapons will form, but they will not prosper. I will bring them to their end and your eye will see it and give praise due to my name. The weapons will form, but they will not prosper. It doesn't matter what the trouble may be, says the father, whether men are working against you or situations or things entirely beyond your control, you will not be left desolate. The weapons will form, but they will not prosper. They shall not prosper. They shall not prosper. Though men take from you everything they can lay their hands on, even from there, I will rebuild and reconstitute your life to even greater heights of blessing than before. Trust in my recovering hand that is working in your circumstance. Trust in my recovering hand that is working in your circumstance. Trust in my recovering hand that is working in your circumstance, says the Father. <laughs> Refuse to 
to grieve over your losses. Oh, y'all, listen, that's a word right there. As I was reading this yesterday, it took me back to the other day. And let me just go on a little bitty rabbit trail um, before I finish. Refuse to grieve over your losses. Refuse to grieve over your losses. Let me back up a little bit. Trust in my recovering hand that is working in your circumstance. Refuse to grieve over your losses. And so the other day, I was having a moment. Uh, I can't remember what day it was, maybe Monday, having a moment, just kind of um, as I was doing some things here around the house, and most of you know our story, uh, well, we've been here about three years now, a little over you, three years, funny thing, we thought, I, I said, um, we only going to be in this house for a year, ha, <laughs> you know, but God had other plans, and so we lost our home, right, of 14 years, and the other morning, I was having a moment like I miss our house every now and then the kids will be like let's just drive by the old neighborhood and see who's in our house right and every now and then we would drive by so I had a moment where I drove by and I just sat out there and y'all when I tell y'all I cried I was like I miss our house you know I miss this house and I posted about it really quickly on Facebook but then I snatched it down because I, I think that was me and my feelings. I don't think the Lord told me to post that post. So every now and then I'll post something and Holy Spirit be like, take it down. So I took that post down and instead posting um, that God's restoring process is greater than anything you've lost. So as soon as I posted that post, the Holy Spirit immediately told me to take it down. And then I posted what he said. And in that moment, just quickly reminded me that he's restoring and his restoring process is great than anything we could have ever lost and so I was grieving again you know um and just like yeah so anyway little rabbit trail so just be reminded um this morning if the Lord is he's restoring he is a restorer and I'm so thankful for it oh hold on it's my iPad's doing something funny over here and um so refuse to grieve over your losses look to me and yield to my hand as i rebuild renew and refresh refresh your life beyond all expectations and so i want you all to be encouraged you know i know what it like feels like to lose something you know i know what it feels like to lose a house i know what it feels like to lose a car i know what it feels like to lose another car i know what it feels like to have to file bankruptcy i know what it feels like to lose you know to lose people to lose things but be encouraged because God is a restorer. God is a restorer. God is a restorer. And he says this morning, look to me and yield to my hand as I rebuild, as I renew, and as I refresh your life. You know, so don't, don't look behind you. Don't look at the things you've lost, you know, and I began to do that. And like I told you all, we have to, we must mind our business, right? We must pay attention to the things that we are thinking about because all it would have taken was a split second and I would have just went down that road, but really, really quickly, I reeled it back in and said, no, we're not going to focus on the past. We're not going to focus on what we lost. We're going to be forward focused and be reminded <clears throat> that God is a restorer. Hold on just one moment. My hot lemon water. Hold the line. I almost feel like the Lord's trying to take this <clears throat> whole live in a diff into a different direction, but this is his live, right? He can do what he wants to do, right? This is his live. This is his live. He can do whatever he wants to do. And so <clears throat> be reminded today that he is rebuilding. He is renewing and he is refreshing. He is renewing. He is rebuilding. He is refreshing. He is rebuilding. He is renewing and he is refreshing. All right, and so <clears throat> hold the line, y'all. My voice is trying to can't blame everything on the devil, but it's a lot of times that my voice is fine until I hit this live button, and then it sounds like it wants to go out. Um, so yes, be encouraged today, but um, that's not what we're talking about today. That was just a little rabbit trail for someone. Someone on here needed to hear that. Good morning, Jennifer Jones Campbell. So good to see you. And I saw a few others pop on. Um, if you can be so kind and share the broadcast, that's right. Rebuilding, renewing, and refreshing. Uh, let me tell you all. And so going back up, let me just back it up. 
So yes, be encouraged is all I want to say. Be encouraged, be encouraged, be encouraged, be encouraged. You be encouraged. God is rebuilding, God is renewing, God is refreshing, and God is restoring. He's rebuilding, renewing, refreshing, and restoring. And, and I'm excited about it. And so again, as the Holy Spirit had me post what I was supposed to post that day, I posted, oh, I feel so bad. I was in tears. I drove by my house and I sat there and cried. You know, he's like, take that down. I didn't tell you to post that take that down and then God quickly reminded me I am restoring and my restoring process is greater than anything that you could ever lose and I posted that to encourage somebody you know just be encouraged you know be encouraged God is rebuilding renewing refreshing amen and so what I have to talk about today is the reminder that God is our great defender that was just a rabbit trail and I pray that it helped at least one person here on this broadcast so let me read um, Isaiah 54 17 no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against you in judgment shall be condemned keep flying oh you love the rabbit trails <laughs> I know I'm like wait a minute you're trying to go in a whole different direction this is not what we talked about last night for me to share um but that was for somebody and that was for me too, reminding my own self that God is restoring and we're not going to look back at what we lost. We're not going to grieve over what we lost because greater is coming, right? Greater is coming. Greater is coming. As, and as much as I would like to say the enemy, the devil did it, um, sometimes it's our own decisions, right? It's our own decisions. So it was our own poor decisions that got us in that situation. And then even after we lost some things, we were still making poor decisions right um just not really being a good steward over what god has blessed us with and um we've learned some lessons since then i'm like i learned my lesson you know we'll have to keep taking the test until we pass the test right life is just a series of tests and what do i always say we need to just pray god please help me pass the test so we're gonna keep on having to take that same test until we pass it right <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. And I always say, you know, regret, regret is a distraction. And I had to remind myself, get rid of it. Regret is a distraction. You know, guilt is a distraction. Shame is a distraction. It's all a distraction. And the enemy tried to distract me the other day, you know, constantly throwing distractions. And my prayer is always, God, please help me see the distractions coming from a mile away. And I had to quickly tell myself, hold up. It's a distraction. It's a distraction. It's a distraction. It's a distraction. I had to refocus. And remember, we were talking about that yesterday, that the enemy is after our focus. Because if he can get our focus, he can. Pre he pretty much has our whole entire life, right? And so he's always after our focus. And I was like, refocus, re refocus. We're, we're, we're being forward focused. We're not, we're not worrying about the past. And we're not worrying about what we did. We're not worrying about what we happened. It's a distraction. Regret is a distraction. We need to get rid of it. All right, so God is our mighty defender. God is our mighty defender. God is our mighty defender. And this is what I have to talk about today. God is our mighty defender. Let me, um, these notifications. I don't know if y'all can hear this, but I hear this. All right, Deuteronomy 32, 4. Did that help somebody? Be encouraged. Be encouraged. God is renewing. God is refreshing. God is rebuilding. God is restoring. All right, Deuteronomy 32, 4. The Lord is your mighty defender, perfect and just in all his ways. Your God is faithful and true. He does what is right and fair. Again, the Lord is your mighty defender, perfect and just in all his ways. Your God, our God, is faithful and true. He does what is right and fair. Um, and so I want to kind of talk about that today. Many of us, uh, many are fighting a battle that they should not be fighting, right? Many are fighting battles that they should not be fighting. Many are fighting battles that they should not be fighting. And uh, it's our nature, you know, when things happen for us to want to take revenge, right? It's just in our nature. Um, it, it, it's, it's just in our nature. And I know that I still, you know, when people do things or when things happen, that my first response still, most oftentimes, but I don't act on it, you know, I don't act on it. I don't act on it as I used to, thank God for growth, right? Uh, our natural response is to take revenge. You know, our natural response is to wanna defend ourselves. Our natural response, again, is to wanna take revenge. But we have to be reminded, yes, it's a learning experience. Listen, who are you telling? I'm like, God, I don't wanna take the test again. I don't, I, I don't wanna take this test again. <laughs> 
I, I don't want to take the test again. I, I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm sitting here playing with my ribbon from my notebook. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that. All right, so it's our na our nature to want to take revenge, and I wrote when we've been attacked or wrong. Um, but be reminded today that there's a better way. That there's a better way. That is a better way. The Lord will fight our battles for us. And some of us need to be reminded of that. We're fighting battles that we have no business fighting, right? And not only that, some of us are fighting people that we have no business fighting. Because we have to remember, it's not the people. It's the spirit behind the people, right? And um, I think once we learn that, we'll stop fighting. You know, once we learn that God is our defender, we'll stop fighting battles that weren't meant for us to fight. I'm a bad test taker. Listen, I'm right there with you, Jennifer Jones, but I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. We had to take that test a couple of times. And, and finally, I'm like, I, we, what we going to do? Because I don't want to take this test again. <laughs> I'm done. All right. And so we need to be reminded that there is a better way. What is that better way? Who is that better way? It's God. It's Jesus. He is our great defender. And I wrote, we can look to Jesus, our great example. Isn't he just an amazing example? in every kind of way just an amazing example he was wrong and mistreated and even in that you know he didn't sin you know and so we need to be reminded that the lord will fight our battles that's right y'all type that in the lord will fight my battles let me get a sip of my hot lemon water y'all type that in the lord will fight my battles the lord will fight my battles good morning lady willing good morning good morning the lord will fight my battles let me read first peter 2 and 23 it says when they hate when they when they hurled their insults at him he did not retaliate when he suffered he made no threats instead he he instead he entrusted himself to whom judges rightly so again we can look to jesus for the great example you know he was wrong he was mistreated in every way that there was to be mistreated but and even in that and even in that first peter 22 first peter 2 23 says when they hurled their insults at him he did not re retaliate when he suffered, he made no threats. Instead, somebody say instead, instead, he entrusted himself to him who judges rightly. What an amazing example. When insults are hurled at us, when we have done wrong, when we are suffering, what do we need to do instead of acting on that and taking revenge? Instead, we need to entrust ourselves. We need to entrust the situation to the one who judges rightly what an amazing example and i know that it's not easy to do that but what do we always say my flesh is not the boss of me our flesh our natural response listen i'm still there sometimes i want to take revenge i want to give back this person said this this person did that they wronged me and that's our first response and our natural response but instead i'm learning to trust the situation to the one who judges rightly and with any as with anything the more that we practice right the easier it gets y'all say but instead i wanted to pick up that phone and give them a piece of my mind but instead <laughs> i wanted to put up a post on facebook because i know they were you know throwing shade as the as the kids say it right throwing shade but instead <laughs> Y'all say, but instead, I'm learning to allow my response to be, but instead, but instead, y'all say, but instead, but instead, but instead, but instead, my flesh wants to do this, but instead, <laughs> my mouth wants to say this, but instead, does anyone understand? Does anyone understand? Does anyone understand? But instead, but instead, but instead, I'm going to trust this situation. But instead, I'm going to trust this person to the one who judges rightly because my flesh is not the boss of me. So, but instead, <laughs> but instead, this flesh will get us in trouble every time, right? But we're choosing, but instead, all right? And so he trusted God to defend him. And we need to do the same thing. We need to look to the great example. You know, he modeled things for us. You know, we can look to him. There's nothing that we could ever go through that he hasn't already gone through. 
There's nothing that we could ever go through that we can't go to the Word and see, you know, that Jesus himself or somebody in the Bible has already gone through and they've modeled for us what to do. All right. So, but instead, <laughs> but instead, all right, I need you all to say, let God handle it. Someone type that in for me. But instead, let God handle it. But we want we want to take revenge. We want to respond. But instead, let God handle it. And you know, that word that I got um, a couple of weeks ago came with a warning, right? And that was the first time a word came with a strong warning. You will feel, but do not respond. You know, you will feel, but do not respond. I feel right now and I want to respond, but instead, I'm going to let God handle it. You know, and that word blessed me because I don't know how many times a day I have to remind myself, you will feel, but do not respond. You will feel, but do not respond. You feel right now and you want to respond. You want to take revenge, but instead, let God handle it. But instead, let God handle it. But instead, let God handle it. But instead, listen, I'm not trying to, we don't want to miss out on the blessings because we allowed our flesh <laughs> to take control you know we, we we our flesh is not the master of us we are the master of our flesh right i need you to say but instead let god handle it yes we are not greater than our master jesus our great example amen to you okay amen all right so um i wrote all throughout scripture god promises our to be our protector to be our refuge in times of trouble and he is not a man um that he should lie so I want to go to um, Psalm 91 and read verses 1 through 7. Psalm 91 verses 1 through 7. And one of the greatest benefits packages, you know, we can read. I'll let you all read um, Psalm 103 on your own. But I say, you know, that 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 that's that gives us a list of what comes in our uh benefits package or you know a benefit package that God offers to us and one of them one of the greatest benefits is that he is our protector so I have here that I want to read Psalm 91 1 through 7 Psalm 91 1 through 7 and I'll go ahead and read all verses so someone type in Psalm 91 1 through 7 and then someone type in Psalm 121 1 through 8 Psalm 21 1 through 8 Psalm 121 1 through 8 all right, so Psalm 91, let's start there. Those who go to God, those who, those who, and this is in my um, New Century version. I love this Bible, the Everyday Bible. Those who go to God most high for safety will be protected by the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, you are my place of safety and protection. You are my God and I trust you. God will save you from hidden traps and from deadly diseases. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you can hide. His truth will be your shield and protection. Y'all type in hashtag protection. You will not fear any danger by night or an arrow during the day. You will not be afraid of diseases that come in the dark or sickness that strikes at noon. At your side, 1,000 people may die or even 10,000 right beside you, but you will not be hurt. You will only watch and see wicked. Put oh, listen, I was about to let me just go in and finish all the way down through 16. So y'all just type in Psalm 91. All right. You will only watch and see the wicked punished. The Lord is your protection. You have made the God most high your place of safety. Nothing bad will happen to you. No disaster will come to your home. He has put his angel in charge over you to watch over you wherever you go. They will catch you in their hands so that you will not hit your feet on a rock. You will walk on lions and cobras. Listen, y'all, you will walk on lions and cobras and you will step on strong lions and snakes. The Lord says, whoever loves me, I will save. I will protect those who know me. I will protect those who know me. Great morning, Darius. Good morning, everybody. I will protect those who know me. They will call to me and I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. I will give them a long, full life and they will see how I can save. They will see how I can save all of Psalm 91. And I have that memorized in the New King James, but I really just love, I feel like when I'm reading this, when I'm studying to share that, it's like I'm re you're reading it, the reading the word in like a fresh new way um, in this translation, the New Century Version. So 
Um, yes, what a powerful song. It really is. It really is. So um, just what part of God's one um, benefit, one part, one great, the greatest benefit, I would like to say, of, of God's greatest what am I trying to say? The greatest benefit of God's benefits package is protection. It's protection. It's his promise of protection. And listen, I don't know about you, but I'm so thankful and so grateful for it. So um, us living under the protection of um, under the benefits of God's protection, I wrote, we find protection through his name. We find protection through his word and we find protection through being in his presence. Again, we find that protection through his name. We find that protection in his word and we find that protection. Good morning, Victoria, in his presence. So let me close with um, Psalm 121, 1 through 8. Hold on, let me get a sip of. Hold the line. Hold the line. <laughs> So Psalm 121, 1 through 8, I'll just read, oh, all of one Psalm 21, there's only eight verses, so y'all go ahead and type in Psalm 121. I look up to the hills, but where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. My help comes from the Lord, and someone needs to be reminded of that. My help comes from, the, listen, I know, right, Elizabeth? Stays open in Psalm 191. I do too, uh, each, um on each table right over there i keep it open to psalm 91 too i look to the hills but where does my help come from my help comes from the lord who made heaven and earth he will not let you be defeated he will not let you be defeated he will not let you be defeated he who guards you never sleeps he who guards israel never rests or sleep let let lord let me stop he who guards Israel, you know, when you know it in one translation and you're trying to read it in another translation, my brain is like, hold on. So let me start over. Verse three, he will not let you be defeated. He who guards you never sleeps. He who guards Israel never rests or sleeps. The Lord guards you. The Lord is the shade that protects you from the sun. The sun cannot hurt you during the day and the noon cannot hurt you at night. The Lord will protect you from all dangers. He will guard your life. The Lord will guard you as you come and go, both now and forever. Listen, God is our defender. God is our protector. We will feel, but we cannot respond. But instead, but instead, but instead, somebody say, but instead, I will let the Lord handle it. So um, that's all I have for today. I pray that something that I said has blessed you or helped you. Um, if you have not shared yet, now is a great time to share. I saw quite a few of you jump on. Um, yes, Tabitha, that's right. My help comes from the Lord. Yes, he will not let you be defeated. Y'all say, but instead, but instead, but instead. That's what I'm practicing right now. The But instead, you know, this is what my flesh wants to do. But instead. I'm going to let God handle it. But instead, I'm going to let God fight this battle. But instead, <laughs> but instead, thank you for sharing the gospel, Mackie. All right, so um, now it's a great time to share. If you have not shared, we are going into our declarations. Y'all listen, I'm always so blessed, so blessed each and every morning. Just so blessed, so blessed. Such a great reminder, such a great reminder such a great reminder all right um you all know what to do if you receive it type i receive it look i can't even stop smiling i'm just like this just blessed me this just blessed me just reminded me let god fight your back let god handle it keisha let god handle it you don't need to handle it you don't need to say anything you don't need to do anything let god handle it you want to say something you want to do something you want to handle it but instead don't need this but instead right just let God handle it. <laughs> he is my great defender. He will not allow me to be defeated. The weapons will form, but they will not prosper, right? Constantly having to remind myself of that. And so whenever you all see me uh, posting Nehemiah 6.3, I am doing a great work. I cannot come down. I am really in that moment. And the moment that I post that, I'm reminding myself, Geisha, you're doing a great work. You cannot come down. Don't come down to respond to that. Don't come down to read that. Don't just don't even come down. You're doing a great work. Stay on the wall. Stay on the wall. 
stay on the wall. So that's me talking to myself. Every time you see that post in that very moment, I'm reminding myself, do not come down off this wall. Don't even, don't come down. I'm doing a great work. Yeah, what did he mess? I'm doing a great work. I, why should I come down and respond to you? <laughs> he said, why should I come down? Why should I come down? So I have to remind myself and I'm reminding you all, stay on the wall, stay on the wall. All right, I'm moving along. I decree and declare the perfect will of God over my life this day. I decree and declare that I will trust in God. I am not afraid of anything man can do to me. I decree and declare that the Lord answers me when I call. He will show me the things I could never figure out on my own. I decree and declare that all things work together for my good because I love the Lord. I decree and declare that because I take refuge in the Lord, he will help me and deliver me from the plots of the evil one. We don't even need to do anything, but instead let God handle it. I declare that the Lord is my light and my protector. I declare that the Lord is faithful. I decree and declare that no weapon formed against me will prosper. I declare because I go to God for safety, I am protected by him. I declare that because I go to the Lord for safety, I am protected by him. You're already protected. He is your defender. Let God handle it. Let God handle it. So that's it. If you receive it, type I receive it. That's all I have for today. I don't know. Listen, it's blessed me. Just a great reminder for me. Um, I pray that it has blessed you all. So um, listen, gotta love this word, right? Gotta love this word. So Father, we honor you. Father, we bless you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for this word. What does this word do? Father, we thank you for your word that leads us. We thank you for your word that guides us. And we thank you for your word that protects us. And Father, we thank you that according to Job 22 and 28, you said, what does it say? That we shall decree a thing, we shall declare a thing, and it shall be established. So Father, we thank you that as we have made these declarations over our lives, they are being established in Jesus' name. And we thank you for the reminder that you are our defender. We thank you for the reminder that you are our protector. We thank you for the reminder this morning that the weapons will form but they will not prosper that we do not need to respond but instead we are choosing to let you handle it you do all things well and we thank you amen he does all things well we can just let him handle it yes a very present help in time of trouble all right so that's it um that is it. That is it. That is all I have for today. And for those of you that are um, on the 21 days of consistency, uh, we are on day 14. Um, and those of you that are following on a Daniel fast, we are on day 14. Um, for those of you that are following the walking plan, we are on day 14. I won't go over, over all of that in this video because everything is over on the Waking Early for His Glory page. However, I will pop over on that page and do a short video just to kind of check in with you all to see how you're doing. Um, everyone is not on the same day in the book the 21 days to a more disciplined life and that's okay just go at your own pace whatever you do just don't stop going um it doesn't matter when you finish what matters is that you finish and you will finish strong um and for those of you that are tuning in for the first time many of us are also reading through the one-year bible together uh, the publisher is tyndale there are so many different um, one-year bible reading plans but if you are following the tyndale plan or if you get the one-year bible published by tyndale you are on the same uh, reading schedule that we are on and i also share um Sorry, y'all. I also share the reading plan, uh, the link to each day's reading in the caption of the video. Um, so if you want to follow along, you can. Oh, you're welcome, Elizabeth. All right, so you know what to do before you all go. Go ahead and share in the comments um, one thing that stood out to you, whatever your takeaway is, or the one thing that you will do differently because of what you heard today. So if you can take a moment and type that in the comments before you go, that would be amazing. And I'll read through some of them. What time is it? Oh, we did good on time. 508. All right. So you all go ahead and start typing in your takeaways. One thing that you will do different because of what you heard today. Oh, thank you, Ruby. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. If you don't have the everyday Bible, go ahead and get this Bible. 
I just, it's so refreshing reading the word in this translation. All right. Yes. Jill says her takeaway is that I will allow God to handle it. That's right. Listen, if nothing else, right? Two words, but instead, that's my takeaway, right? But instead, <laughs> but instead, mm -mm -mm. y'all, I was so tired this morning. I went to bed way later than I should have. And then our Bo the Beagle is trying to change his schedule. Um, Anthony usually doesn't get up until 5.30 in the morning, but I had to get him out of the bed at 4.25 just before I went live because Bo started crying because he had to go to the bathroom. So it was either waking Anthony up to take him to the bathroom or I was going to be late taking him outside to the bathroom. I wouldn't have been back in time for 4.30 because he takes his time. <laughs> not that you all care I'm just saying <laughs> yeah so I said my flesh is not the boss of me and I got up <laughs> all right Tish, Letitia says God is a restorer let God will handle it um Evangelist Rosa says her takeaway oh almost forgot to take my vitamin is that God is a protector and a restorer I know I gotta do all my stuff before my workout oh y'all laughing at me listen and then he went he crying and got us up at like it was like one something in the morning so he's trying to change his schedule i'm like you better stop it normally he can wait until 5 30 when anthony wakes up <laughs> i sat down right and i said Bo started crying i was like are you kidding me it's four it was 4 26 actually i was like okay what are you going to do i had a split second to make a decision am i going to run and take him out myself or am I going to be like, sorry, Anthony, Bo's crying, you got to get up. I went and woke Anthony up. <laughs> it's cold outside. I was like, Anthony, Bo has to use it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Not that y'all cared about all that. We're just having a conversation as y'all are typing in your takeaways and I'm reading them. <laughs> yeah. So Anthony got up and took Bo out to use it. And I know he's thinking, but you're up. I'm like, but I got four minutes. I got to go live in four minutes. <laughs> I know. Yes, Bo is. He runs this house. And listen, Wendy, it is B-E-A-U-X. That's how we spell it. We got to spell it right. We. He's too cute to be Bo, B-O. All right, he's a bow as in B-E-A-U-X. No B-O, B-E-A-U-X. <laughs> We're just talking now, y'all, as y'all are typing your takeaways. Ruby says, rebuilding, renewing, refreshing, and restoring. Yes, amen, and I am so glad about it. All right, love you too, Monica. After you, oh, listen, you, you cannot forget the X. It's B-E-A-U-X. <laughs> Gotta put the X on there gotta put the x on there you have to he's not a bow b-o he's not a bow b-e-a-u he's bow with an x he's bow with an x b-e-a-u x gotta put the x <laughs> oh moose runs your house yeah gotta put the x listen y'all gonna i'll put a post i'll put another picture in the comments and y'all will understand why you have to spell his name right he's so cute <laughs> Uh, I know. Oh, <laughs> Sharonda. I'm sorry. That's funny. <laughs> a special treat. I know. <laughs> yeah, it did look funny. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's B E A U X. Got to put the X. Got to put the X. And um, do y'all remember that video I shared last year? You know, when people are always like, oh, he is such a cute dog. What's his name? I s B E A U X. Like I always spell his name out instead of saying it's Bo. Hey, what's his name? B E A U X. Bo. Like you gotta spell it right before I tell you what it is. I have to spell it for you so you know. <laughs> yes, Bo the Beagle. Yes, my Bo. Yeah, I love him. He's so fun. He is. He's fun. I literally play with him all day. He is so fun. All right, y'all. It looks like you all are done. Um, this is a habit, huh? We start hanging out after these uh, lives are over for quite some time, right? <laughs> so I'm going to let you all go. I'm going to let you all go. 
so I can get ready for my workout at 530. He's special and unique, a Johnson Warrior dog. That's right, hashtag B-E-A-U-X. That's right, that's my bow. Yes, we do. But for those of you that saw this journey when we first got him two years ago, I've been afraid of dogs all my life. You know, it's because I got attacked by a dog as a child. And when I tell you all God cares about every little thing, I remember it was like either he goes or I goes. I'm like, God, I'm going to need you to help me to not be afraid of him. And in an instant, that fear went away. I am not kidding you all. It went like in an instant. And then it's been, yeah. It's been amazing ever since. I was like, either he goes or I go. <laughs> Something, somebody's got to go. One of us has got to go. <laughs> and then the kids were like, well, if you were going to act like this, we should have never got him. They were just so upset. You don't even like Bo. We can just get rid of him if you're going to be mean and mad all the time. <laughs> I thought I didn't know that we had to train the dogs. I, I thought they just knew not to use the bathroom in the house. I just thought they knew all this. You know, I didn't know. You know, they didn't tell me all this before I said yes. I'm like, he keeps using it in the house. We had, yeah. So anyway, y'all. All right, I'm gonna let y'all go. Y'all are still hanging on here. Yeah. All right, bye, y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I will share the uh, declarations in the comments. I may even drop a picture of my bow, B-E-A-U-X, in the comments so y'all can just see how cute he is and see why he runs this house. He is the boss. He runs the house. Cheryl says, how do you find the other page that you are on? If you go to the search box, just type in waking early for his glory. And I actually made it so easy for you all if you just go to this video and click on waking early for his glory it'll take you right over to the page i highlighted it for you all so once you click on it it'll take you right over to the page all right bye y'all have to go mm -hmm. oh y'all too bye y'all <laughs>